Good afternoon and welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for being here. Alright, the song that came through for today's reading was My Best Friend by Tim McGraw. So, have a listen. See how it might resonate with your situation. Um, I got a couple of other songs before that. And it seemed like there was a breakup. But, then I got this one. So, I don't know. I got, no. Um, I got <laughs> spirit. Am I supposed to say it or what is going on? Mercury retrograde has an effect on me when I'm trying to read. I sometimes have a hard time saying what I want to say. Um, Louis Capaldi. What's the name of that song? Someone You Loved. I was getting kind of used to being someone you loved. And then I got... I can't remember them, so I guess it was meant for us to go with My Best Friend by Tim McGraw. I, I can't think of anything right now. It's like my mind just went blank. Also, I had mentioned that I was going to do a reading about, uh, about a week ago. I said I was going to do a reading about a, a child, a toddler that went missing in Catawba County, Georgia. And I had to go to an appointment this morning. That's why I'm so late getting this reading done. And I was listening to some of my videos. Because if, if you're new here, you may not know this. But when I make a video, I, I, I have no clue what I've said. When, when that video is over, it's like I come out of this trance and I don't remember a word I've said. And so I have to go back and watch them too. Well, I kept wondering why I wasn't able to make the video about the toddler. And then on the way home today, I was listening, and uh, my, the videos come on in random order. And 11 days ago, I actually made the video, I think, about the toddler without even realizing it. Before I even knew that I... Yeah. So, it looked like to me um, that... And I did look it up to find out. They did find the child's body. Or they think it was the child's body that they found. But it looked like to me from the video that I made. If that's what indeed what I was reading about. And I believe that it was. It looked like to me there was some money somehow involved in it. And secretly there was a woman who knew she was going to get the money. <clears throat> but outwardly she was like surprised that she was getting the money. So... I don't know. I guess we'll have to wait and see what unfolds there. I never did actually do a reading about it, but when I heard that reading today, I was like, this sounds like I did a reading about that child without even knowing it. And indeed, I think that I did. All right, this reading to right now, Tim McGraw, my best friend. My best friend. So let's see what your best friend would say. Best friend, what would you say? Don't forget why you're doing it and say it out loud. Don't forget why you're doing it and say it out loud. So there's something you need to say out loud and don't forget why you're doing it. So you're doing something. Don't forget why and say it out loud. Interesting. Alright, so let's see. Let's see what kind of virtues are working in this situation. It's about your best friend. What kind of virtues are you working on? Compassion. Feeling compassion. So it's helping you to feel compassion, to have humility, and to have integrity. Beautiful. So somehow you're having to have integrity here. Show compassion and be humble. What a lesson. It's been a lesson here for sure. Alright, I'm going to use the red deck. So I'm going to use the red deck. Alright. Please show me how you're working here, Spirit. How are you working in this situation? There's a wheel. Somehow there's a wheel involved in this situation. What's the energy to overcome? 
the wheel is temperance sagittarius is here the wheel is leo taurus aquarius and scorpio all right so something fortunate a wheel we don't know whether this wheel is good or bad it could be either it's the wheel and it brings a lot of times good things to our lives but sometimes it brings hard things to our lives so something's happened we don't know what we have to pull more cards on that but the energy for you to overcome is to just remain positive and patient and self-control don't get out of character all right, and what's going to pull it together? So you're not going to get out of character, or maybe you're going to try not to. Or maybe you're being too self-controlled. Maybe you're being too easygoing, and you need to get out of character. There's moon energy here, and having faith. So there's a secret of energy here. And also not having unconditional love. Not showing somebody. It's like, this is a codependent vibe here. Charity is unconditional love. When it's in reverse, it turns into codependency because you're overgiving. You're doing too much of yourself. So there's been a wheel. We're having to have temperance. The moon is here with our faith and our codependent vibe on the bottom of the deck. So whatever happened here, that's how spirit's working. I caused this event to happen. And you are being very self-controlled throughout this. You're not losing your, you're not losing your cool. But sometimes we need to get pissed off, you know? We shouldn't always be tempered and self-controlled. Sometimes we should get pissed off. So the energy of overcome is you being too chill about this. <laughs> Somebody's got red hair. Somebody's got black hair. I'm hearing the name Beverly. So we have, like I said, the fixed signs, we have Sagittarius, we have Cancer, and we have a few of us here twice. There's a darkness here that's going to pull this together. This moon energy is this unknown, dark, kind of moody. Uh, there's a lot of unknowns around this, but you're going to have faith, and you're going to be very self-controlled. You may have to get a little bit feisty though. You may have to let that red hair show just a wee bit. Somehow purple flowers are significant. I'm so tired of spam calls today. <sighs> All right, let's see how this happens. This is about my best friend. You're more than a lover. You know, there will never be another. That makes me feel the way you do. Somebody is, has concern because of somebody's bad health. The lovers is here with concern. So this is somebody that you care about deeply. A lover. You are working hard, toiling and laboring on your love. Or it could just be you're working on a relationship. All right, show me how this happened, please. Somebody got sudden wealth. Do, 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 do. You could have won the lottery, or you could have won like on a scratch off. You got sudden wealth. Number eleven is here. All right, what's being hidden? This happened because somebody suddenly got wealth. Ain't nothing wrong with that. <laughs> What's being hidden is a great fortune and somebody going on a journey. So secretly you have a lot of money and you're going to go on a journey with your money. Good for you. And what's being shown? That somebody's going to get the gift of a house. You're going to use this money to get somebody a house. You're going to buy somebody a house. And what's going to be the outcome? A courtship <laughs> so somebody is going to want to get to know you and it is a wealthy man so somebody's about to buy you a house Whoa. or you're gonna buy yourself one because you're gonna suddenly get wealth or you already have 
you're going to take your great fortune and go on a journey with it. Okay, we have 11, which is 2, 26, which is 8, 10, which is 1, 17, which is 8, 20, which is 2, and 4. So 2, 8, 1, 8, 2, 4. And then 4 again, number 13. I mean, that's pretty cut and dry if you want, if you want my opinion. So what's being hidden is, um, this is, the, the tarot, I'm not sure what it means yet. I don't see anything negative here. You're going to get a gift and a house. Somebody's going to take them this money that they get, this sudden wealth. They're going to take it on a journey, and there's going to be a gift, and a house, and a courtship. This is beautiful. Like, I don't know even what to say about this. Let's see what the Energy Oracle has to say about this. Energy Oracle, what would you say about this situation? Because it looks like somebody's about to be incredibly blessed. Appreciation is here with Healer of the Ages. Just be grateful for the Healer of the Ages. What a beautiful spread today. Take action and be grateful. Appreciation. It looks like somebody's going to get a great fortune and they're going to go somewhere on a journey and buy you a house and give it to you as a gift. Take action. You're going to have victory. And it's going to happen because you're going to make a, a bunch of money suddenly. Beautiful. Happy family and victory. Yeah, this is a very beautiful reading. Alright, how can I feel? What do, what do we need to know here? What does the collective need to know here? What does the collective need to know here? That was a woman holding a coin and taking action. There she is. The healer of the ages is here. A woman holding a coin. <clears throat> There's a woman that's about to hit the jackpot. The only thing I see here is that somebody is afraid to go out into the unknown. To, to get their abundance. Your world is about to expand, honey, like you could not imagine. You have the healer of the ages. You're healing from something. You're getting the healing that you need. Let's see what's here. All right, number 51. <clears throat> well, I turn to the woman holding the coin first. Somebody has a black cat. They have very pale skin, blonde hair. The color of purple is significant. Purple lipstick even. The cat has a purple collar on even. <clears throat> Alright, the woman holding a coin. A female connection in money, health, or value. The elegantly dressed woman on this card sits on a beautiful chair holding a bright gold coin. When this card comes upright in a woman's reading, it may refer to her directly and to a successful endeavor regarding her own finances or health. This card can also signal a woman of support or assistance regarding these issues. She may give you financial advice or connect you with someone who does. This woman may be someone you meet where you make your money, or it may be a woman of wealth and value. Either way, this card is telling you to be on the lookout for helpful assistance or even the possibility of new love or friendship connected to a woman of wealth or business. So it looks like you might meet somebody where you work or in some way connected to your work. The Healer of the Age is number 51. This powerful being brings the force of ancient wisdom and profound healing. The light of divine consciousness pours from his hands and heart, flowing to you with love and a powerful healing intention. 
This amazing entity is with you now, bringing resolution to physical, mental, and emotional ills, helping to unblock stuck energy and revitalize your life force. You may have felt this strong presence recently, or you may just be opening to the wonderful sensations now. You can call upon this emissary of miraculous transformation whenever you need vitality, balance, or renewal. Know that the, at the deepest level, an important healing is taking place, and the healing is in your finances. Alright, and then we have number 30. This is the only card that may have some concern. But I think it's because you're going to be so blown away by what's about to happen to you that you're not going to believe it. Abundant prosperity and staying safe. In reverse. If this card is reversed, it indicates that the happy choice to open the door to a more spiritual pursuit. Wait, something. What just happened? If this card is reversed, it indicates the happy choice to open the door to a more spiritual pursuit. You may have been obsessed with worldly issues before, but your readiness to go deeper is now here. Many people believe that they cannot live in a material world, make lots of money, and engage in spiritual priorities at the same time. But you now realize that this isn't true. In fact, you can bring this wonderful spiritual focus to any endeavor. And when you do, you'll find that beyond your garden, the universe is willing to fill your life with beauty and joy. Expect the unexpected for joyous synchronicity at bounds, and it certainly does. And then you know the world, which is your world, is about to expand, and it may go viral somehow. This event that's about to happen to you could be something that's seen by a lot of people on the internet. Because somebody's about to get a lot of money suddenly. Sudden wealth. Wealth is not like, it could be $100 or $1,000. But wealth is usually a great amount of money. And it says here that secretly it's a great fortune. And it's going to take you on a journey that's going to lead you to a gift and a house and a courtship. And right here is saying that the heal of the ages is healing your finances. You're going to meet a woman connected to your work. And you're going to realize that you can take the spiritual pursuits that you have into any endeavor. Okay? And I think that these endeavors are something that you have not ever thought about before. But this woman is going to enlighten you somehow. Okay. So, now that we know... Let's pull to roll on it, shall we? All right, yay! Okay, this one's good. Show why not? All right, why is the wheel here for the collective? Because we see we have a wheel because of justice and the seven of swords in reverse. So, you are someone who I think has had a rough time in life. And this is this situation that's about to happen to you is going to bring justice to your life. The Five of Wands and the Seven of Swords. This is a lot of chaotic fighting, a lot of negativity, a lot of being stabbed in the back, people, you know, lacking integrity around you. You've been through a hell of a time. That's why the Healer of the Ages is here, bringing healing to your life. The truth about the Five of Wands. So, this can also mean that there have been people working together behind the scenes on your behalf. You're about to find out the truth about that. A lot of people may know stuff that you don't know. The Ten of Wands and the Five of Wands. Something is, there's some fighting that's been going on in your life that's about to come to an end. Why is the wheel here? Okay, because of the truth about somebody who's been like deceiving you, the truth about deception, and it also has to do with an ace of cups in reverse and the star. So, the wheel represents a profound truth 
about why somebody has not been showing you love and why you felt like there was no hope for this and there was some deception behind the truth. Clarify the deception behind the truth. There's the fighting. In, there's the high priestess also. So, somebody deep, deep in their heart knows the truth. They're a very intuitive person and it would be hard to pull the wool over their eyes. This person is psychic. They have secret knowledge. They are probably a medium, a psychic, somebody that does stuff like I do. They use cards to get answers from spirit and they know that this fighting why is the five of wands in reverse they know something about this fighting it has to do with their money and be and feeling weak feeling like no matter how hard i try i can barely stay above water Then why are you so intuitive? Why is that here? Why is the high priestess here? Because of that wheel and walking away from something that no longer serves your highest and greatest good. Because intuitively you know there's something that you have to get away from or you needed to get away from. Why is the Ace of Cups here? Because of the Nine of Swords. This new love would have been a nightmare. Why is the star in reverse? Because of a tower in reverse, the ace of wands, and the five of cups in reverse. Because somebody is healing and they're passionate about their healing. Why is the tower in reverse? They were trying to avoid a tower in their life. Because they, at one time, were um, giving too much and taking a risk. They're taking a risk on giving too much. Somebody's about to take a risk on giving way too much. That's the tower. It's inevitable. But they're doing this as something very creative that's going to bring healing to somebody's life who's been through a nightmare. And they feel hopeless. And the truth is, is that they have been fighting to keep their head above. Oh, it's like somebody's been struggling real hard financially, and they were done so wrong in the past. And this person deserves a break. That's the wheel. All right, why is temperance here? Because of the page of pentacles. What you're being so self-controlled about is that you have some kind of idea. What, what's your idea? You've got me some. That you can work together with this emperor. <clears throat> this could be a boss. There's an emperor. Aries is here. And it's like, I, I, I feel like if I could just work with this person. If we could all just work together. What's the three of pentacles? The ten of swords and the four of cups in reverse. So somebody literally stabbed somebody in the back ten times. So you are working with people who hurt you. Why are you doing that? Because you feel like if you don't, that you're going to be betrayed. And you won't have a job anymore. All right, why is the moon here? So you're putting up with a lot at work, too, that you shouldn't be. Because of somebody's confusion. This, this moon is causing you to have a lot of confusion. Not knowing what choice to make. Why is the two of swords in reverse? This is about work. You're confused about what you should do for work. 
All right, why is faith here? Because there's a king of wands that's Capricorn is here determined that they're going to get public recognition by giving everything they own away. It's like, I want to give away all I have to somebody. I'm going to give them everything I have. This could be an inheritance. Why is charity in reverse on the bottom of the deck? Because of somebody feeling imprisoned in a relationship with a queen of wands and reevaluating this situation. What are they reevaluating about it? has to do with partying too much like turning a blind eye to partying too much and a lot of fussing and fighting and arguing somebody there's two different things going on here at once I think that there's somebody who and it could be the same person. Like, they could have put up with a lot of shit out of this woman. But, so, somebody put up with a lot out of somebody. And now somebody wants to gift them everything they own. A house. I mean, a great fortune. And they're going to go on a journey to do it. You got to... Somebody's about to have their world rock. They're, they're, they don't see it coming, I don't think, either. But somebody's about to give you everything. And it's because you've taught them that you can combine making a living with spiritual pursuits. And I think that this has been a changing, like life-changing thing for them. And so they want to repay you in some way. And it's a very wealthy man. Alright, but at the same time, while this wealthy man is giving you a house, somebody else is giving you hell. <laughs> so, let's talk about the person that's giving you hell. Somebody's giving you hell. Show me how that happened. They said, shut the fuck up and sit back and relax. Shut the fuck up. You don't know what you're talking about, but I still love you, XOXO. And I'm going to sit back and relax because I know oral love is in my future. So they told you to shut up while they sat back and relax. That's not nice. Alright, what was being hidden? That you were fucking stressed. Why were you fucking stressed? Because love can hurt like hell. Somebody sent a picture of them having sex. Oh my god. And you were like opening your mouth to say something. And they told you to shut the fuck up. Secretly, you're stressed because somebody sent you a picture of somebody having sex. And you were opening your mouth to talk about this. That's why you're stressed. Because you have to tell somebody that somebody sent you a picture of somebody having sex. Alright, uh, what's being shown? That you're having to keep shit clean. What does that mean? You're having to watch what you say. Alright, what's going to happen next? So you, you haven't said anything to this person yet. You're going to stop trying to control every damn thing and let shit go. Because it's time to talk money. And you fucked up. <laughs> So this person did, didn't they? They fucked up. Somebody told you to shut the fuck up that they were going to sit back and relax. Or that you needed to shut the fuck up and sit back and relax. But secretly you were stressed because you were hurt. Because somebody sent you a picture of somebody having sex. And I wish a million times. 
and you wanted to talk about this. But instead, you decided to keep shit clean and watch what you said because you weren't going to try to control this. It was time to talk money, and you fucked up. Damn it, boy. And fill in the blank. Shut the front door. Yeah, I would say that somebody did you wrong. But somebody is about to make this right. <coughs> Secretly, you're stressed and you're hurt because of somebody sending a picture, having sex, and you wanting to talk about this. But rather than talk about it, you decided to just keep shit clean and watch what you say. That's you having temperance when you really should have gotten out of character. Good job. Because it was time to talk money. What's going to happen next is you're not going to try to control anything. You're just going to talk to somebody about money and how they fucked up. So somebody is somebody caught your person having sex with somebody and they sent a picture to you of this person having sex with your person. And now it looks like you're going to have everything they own. Congratulations. You deserve it. All right. Show me how this happened, Spirit. You were trying to take it slow because somebody that wouldn't change decided they wanted to change. And why did they want to change? Because they had a rebound. They felt desperate. They couldn't be with their family. They couldn't escape. And they were fighting it. Alright, what was being hidden? That they were partying that they were hard to read, and that they were trying to eliminate somebody. And what was being shown? That they were worried, and they were trying to control something here. And what's going to happen next? Somebody's going to be self-pleasing. They're going to have an epiphany about an apology. And how they've been in denial. And what's the apology for? being haunted because you you insisted that this person go first you were being stubborn i'm not making a move you know where to find me clarify the epiphany somebody did not heal and they have learned a lot of lessons from it and they're stalking also Anything else we need to know about how this happened? Somebody is purifying because they didn't have an epiphany. Alright, what's being hidden? That there's no chemistry here. What's being shown? I bet there's not if you got a picture of them having sex with somebody else. But you feel like you're better off. And what's going to happen next? Somebody is going to have euphoria. They're going to get fucked up. And they're going to have a lot of confusion. Clarify getting high and having confusion. They feel trapped by their memories. And remember they're haunted. They're going to try to, um, and they're secretly admiring you from a fake account. They're going to try to drown their sorrows, so to speak, in the partying. This is sad. What would your higher self say to you? Because you're about to have a great fortune. <sighs> Your higher self would say, use your intuition, have gratitude, and have courage with your worrying on the bottom of the deck. Don't worry. Have Use your intuition, use, have your gratitude, and have courage. You're going to be all right, baby. You're going to be all right. All right. And let's see what sacred destiny would say to you. I mean, there's not much more to say here. Like, this is cut and dry. You have a picture of them having sex with somebody else. And this hurt you deeply. You need to, have, in order for you to have success, you're going to have to learn how to forgive this person. And I can't imagine how hard that's going to be. Trust in your success. That would be real successful, baby. And...
trust you're going to see one word. Um, like say for destiny, what message do you have here? You're going to see wonders and have happiness. And you're going to have fulfillment in your life. Beautiful. That is just grand. Alright, let's see how the angels are helping you here. Angels, how are you helping here? Giving you the sight, the vision that you need. If somebody's watching you. And giving you grace. Anything else? The full moon could be significant with a three-quarter moon. Georgia peaches. You're feeling the vibes of manifestation and faith. And sexuality on the bottom of the deck. Alright. Let's see what's going on with your money. Besides the fact that you're about to have a lot of it. And a house. And a courtship. Real estate is here with using your voice. <laughs> I don't know who you are, but I'm sorry you're going through this. There's your gift, and using your voice, you have a gift of using your voice. Somebody's recognizing that. Somebody's motivated by your voice. Alright, what's going on with this person's money spirit? This could be a very private reading. The, the helper came out. Alright, why is helper here? Somebody's about to help you because you're going to celebrate a writer and something outside in nature. Gaia. Clarify Gaia. It's a partnership. Something legal with a counselor, beauty, and a partnership. So you're going to celebrate, be a writer, and have something out in nature. Something natural, Gaia. This is going to be a legal binding contract with a counselor, a beauty, somebody who's beautiful or a beautician. You and this person are going to have a partnership. And you're going to have a celebration about it. Outcome of the celebration. Something from the past is being planned. What's being planned? Where you were settling. Clarify settling. Something you were settling. It has to do with science. Your comfort. Your leadership and your health. Science, comfort, leadership, and health. And a surprise. Outcome of leadership. There's an artist here. That you had a conflict with. Why are you having a conflict with this artist? Because of a surprise. A phoenix rising. Being by yourself. And being perfectionist. Alright. Uh, what's the surprise? That you're unlocking new gifts. Outcome of that. Justice. What do you mean Justice. There's going to be someone who's going to take a risk. Their life purpose. They're going to be persistent when it comes to a home. Their home. And having growth. Clarify home. This is what you're using your voice to motivate somebody about. To share. What's the life purpose? The underworld is here. With angelic help, setbacks, and gossip. And recognition. Alright, what's the gossip? So somebody's talking about you. What's the gossip? May I see, please? That somebody's a hater and the police have been involved. Alright, what else? If somebody's keeping a promise because somebody's trash, 
They betrayed you, and the sugar and the salt both look the same. And somebody is sick. Outcome of keeping the promise. Somebody's going to be very jealous. Why are they going to be so jealous? Because they're going to have to be cautious of their parenting. Because somebody's a diamond girl who was born to shine and a bugaboo. What's the truth about the diamond girl? This diamond girl, <clears throat> somebody was arguing and putting people in their place. Because of somebody being insecure and running away and being destroyed. What's the truth about the bugaboo? That somebody was getting played, manipulating, lies, controlling, and pulling the strings. And they were a player. What's going to be the outcome of all of this drama? Somebody's keeping you a secret and you are about to be spoiled. Spoiled because you've been through hell, you've been through a pure nightmare. All righty, then <laughs> I don't know what else to say. I mean, you've got to have your world rocked by somebody that's gonna give you a ton of money, and you're gonna have a house. All right. This keeps coming out. How can we love who we are in the meantime? How can we love who we are? Don't quit your daydream. And own your star. Don't quit your daydream and own your star. Number 19. Don't quit your daydream. Give yourself permission in every way. No one is going to grant you permission to follow your dream and prescribe the path you need to follow. Only you can do that, and it's a sacred charge to keep your daydream alive. You were born with it. It has been gifted to you and relies on you to bring it into the world. Stay true. Hold fast. Permit yourself to love your own vision unabashedly. This kind of loyalty creates enthusiasm, which is contagious, and before you know it, you're left a river of permission in your wake that others can drink from to restore their own belief. Number 22, own your star. Not all stars belong to the sky. Just look at the starfish and you. One of a kind, brilliant, luminous. Never let anyone dull your shine. Endeavor to know your value. Not based on what service you provide or how you can be pleasing, pretty, or productive. Rather, know your worth based on the radiant star stuff coursing through your veins. Stand in your shine. Be willing to lose anything that requires you to lose a part of yourself. And somebody is. <laughs> they definitely is. <laughs> All right. Who are you talking to, Spirit? T-N-F-I-F-Z-P, number three. And Tina, if you happen to see this video, honey, I'm going to do your private reading before the end of this week. F-O-Y-N-Y-N-W-4. A lot of N's and Y's. B. Y-S-W-H-M-L-Q, number two. This is going to be a very specific reading. D-A-P-O-F-M-I number 8. And I had an A also. Did I say A? Number 9. C-I-H-T-J-A-B number 2. I don't know who these people are. N. S-O-L-K-R-K-A number 6. Alrighty then, trinkets, please, spirit. Okay, I got a big skull. I got a panda bear with a baby panda bear. I got a Dallas Cowboy star. I got perhaps love. I got the hanged man. 
I got a leaf for the fall. I got a broken note. This is a whole handcuff. The police were involved. Somebody came out and put in handcuffs. I got a crown. You might drink a crown. I got Jesus. I got consider your impressions and follow them sometimes. I got a razor blade. An Eiffel Tower. A sea turtle. A pegasus. A gun, another leaf, a butterfly, an elephant, and a ball. <coughs> Trinkets from this ball. I got a rock that says you're going to be very lucky. I got these wings for the military. I got a fancy heart, an Eiffel Tower. A piece of sea glass, a cactus or a prick, and a rocking horse for a baby. Alright, I hope this was your reading because somebody's world is about to be made a whole lot better. Somebody's going to be partners with you and they are going to give you a house. <laughs> and they want to court you also. <laughs> Have a great day. Bye-bye.